I'm we were filming, filming them. They had pulled Got somebody over jammed. who Next was, I, know, I guess, supposedly a DWI. One at a time. <laughs> one at a time. I guess it was hmm. for a DWI. They had pulled some lady over. That's the same spot. There was an earlier DWI this evening. Yeah, they've been. That's why we were here, 30. you know, because they were. They've been pulling people over left and right here, hiding out. This is a heavy police area. But and the now car that they took Antonio in, I got the license plate number on this film, and uh, it was an it was an unmarked car. It was not a police car, but it had lights on it. And they're now seizing his property. His vehicle is being seized and searched. And who knows where it's going to go. Someplace in far south Austin where it's going to be hard to get to, I would assume. So we don't know where his car is. Then. No. Did they take we're it already? Right up in there. They were trying to get me earlier, but they got a little Did they take Antonio's car? I don't know. I was in here. I got here late. What'd you see? I was filming old Borski. Had that chick jammed up. And then in the background, I see his red shirt, so I kind of zoomed in on it. And here comes Beeler with his hands behind his back. That motherfucking thug. And then here comes Beeler. I see behind him another red blob comes moving up, and there's Sarah with her hands behind her back. How you live with yourselves working with a man like Kavorsky, a known criminal? Now nah, they're sociopaths. It's easy enough. He's a bunch of fine gentlemen who all gave the right answers on the right, Minnesota Multiphasic to... Personality Index. At least one of them has to be. <laughs> so, yeah, they to they live with themselves quite nicely. Uh, yeah. I'm on bicycle, so I'm going to stay here. As long as there's people here, I'm going to stick around and probably leave with them. You want to ride? Well, I think the jail is where they are now. Mm. Yeah, but I never how are they going to the get out? Truck come here. Well, so, we'll get them out. I didn't either. So unless it we'll came from the other direction somehow, I don't know. They probably won't even be charged with anything. We'll even see if they are. A lot of times they just they just pop these people and then hold them overnight and then charge them. So they're we'll see if they get anything. To do something. They will we probably. Go. They're gonna try to frame them. Can I get they're a gonna ride try to do something. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't call someone to come well, out here and just like swoop up and then three other cars. Right? How many cars all in total? Like four. So would you First say there was just one, and then the second one that that came wasn't even a cop car, and that's the one that they put him in. And they put her in another cop car. Uh-oh, we don't even know who has them in custody. No, but I got the license plate number on And there. would you say it was a pretty sweeping and immediate arrest? Oh, yes. Oh, it, yes. I mean, he got directly out. He knew exactly. <laughs> like, he went straight over. He, he marched over, over there. The like, he was Back up, Mr. Beeler. Step back, Mr. Beeler. And he was backing <laughs> up, and then he just came in. He, the other guy just went up to him and arrested him anyway. I'm backing up. I thought he was talking to me at first, and I'm not tripping because I got a 65 time zoom. So I, I walk all the way down the block if you want me to. I'm still going to read your name tag, you know. So I'm not sweating it. So, oh, man. So I backed up, and then he starts addressing Beeler by name. I'm like, ah, oh, okay, I see what They targeted doing. him. They know who he is, and he's getting the special treatment. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, it wasn't even a cop And we have some That's chalking. Like an average tow truck? No, it's tow. I think there's no good staying here because.